So I got down to the lake over here, Lake Gozauzi. It's really, really beautiful. And earlier, I was all the way up. I took the cable car to go all the way up. And you saw those restaurants, those beautiful restaurants up there, in case you want to eat something there and enjoy the view from above. That will be a, another option for you. And now, what I'm gonna do, if you decide to stay um, and watch this video, I will hike along this uh, beautiful lake to get all the way to the upper lake on the other side. So you will enjoy the scenery that I will go through in, uh, in, this, uh, in the course of this uh, video. So let's go. What you see down there is Lake Gozauzi, one of the most beautiful lakes here in Austria. And I got to this location by a cable car. And right now I am at around 1,475 meters altitude. And you pay around 16 euros to get here to take a cable car round trip to go uh, up and down. And there is a cafeteria up there and a short hike if you want to do the, the hike. But later I will go down to uh, explore the, uh, the lake. The lake is so beautiful and there is a hike to, uh, to go to the upper lake and that will take me uh, probably around two hours uh, one way. But before I do that, I need to get all the way to the top there is a beautiful cafeteria up there and I will see if I'm gonna see another beautiful view on the other side. There are two cafeterias here once you get to the top and it's about a five minute hike from the cable car station. Once you get to the top then you just do a short hike and you will get to uh, these uh, beautiful cafes in case you want to have breakfast or lunch this will be a beautiful uh, place to eat it's really beautiful and then uh, later I will take the cable car down all the way to uh, down uh, back to the lake and I will walk uh, along the lakes you see a lot of uh, hikers over here I'm not sure what they're trying to to do there are plenty of uh, options to hike in case you you want to spend uh, hours here hiking that will be a, that will be a, another uh, Good adventure but let's see the view on this uh, on this side before I uh, before I go back to the lake it's a lot of traffic uh, over here and uh, let's see let's see the view from here really beautiful it really is the whole area is uh, is gorgeous you see the the mountain behind me so uh, in this video you will see the lakes there are uh, probably three lakes the upper lake the middle lake and the main lake and to get to the upper lake will take probably two hours so but first i have to take the cable car to go all the way down because i already paid for the ticket for round trip but if you do want to hike you can actually hike down you just buy a cable car one way to go up and then you find your way back to go all the way down but if you are short on time i would suggest you uh, you buy the uh, round trip uh, 
uh, ticket to go up and explore this uh, beautiful uh, beautiful spot and then spend uh, probably about an hour get uh, lunch over here and uh, or drink coffee and then uh, find your way back uh, to the lake and if I'm not mistaken this is actually uh, a winter uh, a, a ski resort over here so this is uh, actually that cable car I think they use it in the winter but now we're not in the winter yet we are in the fall and uh, probably uh, they will open in the sometime in November or de December or something like that but the cable car that I took to get here is uh, open um, open uh, in all seasons if I'm not mistaken So I got down to the lake, Lake Gozauzi, and it's a really beautiful uh, spot here for photos. And earlier, I was all the way up, I took the cable car, the one that you saw earlier, to go all the way to those beautiful restaurants. And in case you want to eat something over there and enjoy the view from above, that will be a good option for you. And now, I will hike along this beautiful lake to get all the way to the upper lake on the other side and if you decide to watch this video in its entirety you might enjoy the scenery that I will go uh, through it's a really really beautiful so the hike starts from the bus uh, station over there right there and that's where the cable car station is located as well and you have two options uh, to to hike along the the lake you can uh, you can be on the left side where i am at right now or the right side over there but i chose this side to get a view of the uh, of the glacier up ahead and also this beautiful uh, mountain that you see over here and I'm sure the uh, the view will get uh, better and uh, better so the uh, the town I am right now located in a town called Gozau and uh, Lake uh, Gozauzi is about uh, 10 minutes uh, 10 minute drive from uh, Gozau in case you're uh, your hotel is in that uh, town and if you're not uh, driving a car if you don't have a car then uh, you will need to take a bus bus number 542 and takes you all the way to uh, Lake Gozauzi so the bus terminates at Lake Gozauzi because that's the last uh, bus uh, stop over there so it's very uh, easy to uh, to take a bus and um, and you can take a bus from uh, a city called Bad Isel and the bus ride is about an hour to get uh, to get here but the problem with the bus is that they don't have uh, frequent uh, buses come coming here they only have one bus every hour so make sure you schedule your uh, make sure you check out the schedule the bus schedule 
before your visit and make sure that you make it to the last bus uh, the return because the last return is around six o'clock I think depending on what season you're visiting because you don't want to get stuck over here because if you miss the bus to go back to Bad Isol you may need to uh, to find another an alternative uh, way of transportation and it's gonna be very difficult if you don't have a car you might need to to take a taxi but it's not really easy to take a taxi here because you need to call and make a reservation you will not find taxi just on the on the street available waiting for you that's not gonna happen look at the uh, look at the view over here it's really really beautiful it's uh, it's beyond uh, description it really is gorgeous and if you're still watching this video uh, and you're enjoying it uh, double check my uh, check out my uh, other videos of uh, of Austria I visited uh, other uh, other places and one of them is uh, Hallstatt uh, town Hallstatt village and Hallstatt village by the way is not that far from where I am located right now because the bus that I took this morning uh, it goes through uh, Hallstatt so it's the same route that uh, that Hallstatt uh, is uh, located on so in other words you might need to uh, visit Hallstatt on the same day if you are in short uh, on time but that village Hallstatt deserves the whole day to be quite honest with you if you really want to enjoy that village I recommend that you spend the whole day there and you don't add any other activities in other town and that's what I did and the place that I am walking right now this one if you uh, want to do the hike that I am doing right now give yourself at least six hours because to get to the upper lake it takes about two hours one way let me uh, turn the camera over there show you the view that I am uh, enjoying it's really really beautiful uh, beautiful so if you're visiting this uh, place uh, like I said just give yourself six hours at least hello, hey. hello. and uh, and one way to get there is two hours and then there is a restaurant uh, a cafe a small uh, a small hut uh, over there that you can eat uh, there get lunch and then come back that will take probably another two hours and I just walked uh, I saw a few people taking photos and I turned the camera on the other side trying to uh, try not to get people on camera but it's very hard to to do that and uh, once I get to the closer to the upper lake I don't think I'm gonna find people because not a lot of people hike uh, all the way there and there is a there is no shortage of benches along the way in case you want to uh, to take a break and uh, drink uh, coffee and bring your own coffee there there is a cafeteria at the beginning of the hike and they have uh, coffee to go so they help you with that and uh, and also bring snacks and uh, water because it's gonna be a very very long day what a beautiful country it is uh, oh, oh no oh my goodness are you okay? yeah you need water, you need anything, I have everything. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. 
You know, this is the second time I I, uh, I witnessed uh, somebody falling. On the other day, when I went to the Salt Mayan in Haustadt, somebody uh, also uh, fell down. And I really felt uh, bad for her. And when that happens, I really... Uh, I try to do my best to, to help, but I don't know what, what I can do to help. I always carry with me uh, first aid uh, stuff because I expect those things to happen. I have... Uh, t I'm not sure you might laugh at me. I, I carry with me a painkiller, um, a Tylenol, for, uh, for pain. For headache and all that kind of stuff and bandage in case uh, I cut my uh, finger cut my skin or something like that if I fall or so I have everything on my backpack that's why I ask her if you need anything I have everything available in my backpack but I don't think they understood me and uh, they don't seem to to need uh, help but anyway this is something that you might need to consider when you do a long hike and uh, you are out on a long uh, adventure. Keep those things with you. First aid, um, small bag and your pack bag. If something happens to you, you know uh, at least you have the basic stuff to survive. Or when, if you're hiking with somebody then uh, that person will help you out as long as you have the supplies with you you just give them the supplies and they will help you in case you get dizzy or uh, or stuff like that and people are uh, climbing somewhere they're coming down from somewhere I'm not sure I'm not sure where they're coming from yeah yeah you see there is a rope that you you cling to to get somewhere there it's really scary to do these things I don't uh, I don't necessarily like to do these things but let me turn around the camera and uh, show you what uh, what I see the weather is very uh, unpredictable today it was sunny in the morning and now it uh, started to rain a little bit and then afternoon it's gonna be sunny again so uh, when it gets sunny here it's really the sun is really strong especially in the in the summer so if you visit in the summer just bring bring a hat with you and sunglasses I always wear sunglasses because mine, my sunglasses are prescription glasses. So if you do see me wearing sunglasses all the time, they're not necessarily for blocking the sun. They're actually prescription glasses. So I was talking about Hallstatt earlier. And uh, and do uh, read up on it. Hallstatt is one of the most uh, one of the uh, oldest uh, villages in the world. It's uh, seven thousand years uh, old, and it has the oldest uh, salt mine. Um, it's actually the world oldest salt mine there. And I went. Uh, I went there. And I learned that they discovered the uh, the oldest uh, staircase in in Europe in that region. They discovered it in 2002, and a lot of archaeologists uh, are still uh, con continuing to make new discoveries. You know, so I think uh, the last big discovery was the staircase that they found in that uh, area so right, right now all, all of a sudden I am by myself 
here and I will turn off the camera for now just to save battery and I will uh, turn it back on when I get to the middle lake because there is a middle lake that might be by the way dry now because that middle lake is only full with water during the spring when the when the water melts coming from the glacier but uh, but the upper lake if I'm not mistaken is always full with water so when I get to that area I will turn the camera back on I see this beautiful house along the way actually uh, a few houses probably this is a farm but I'm not quite sure there is a sign here I'm not sure what it says but I will let you I will let you read it for yourself and in case you uh, speak German just uh, tell me in the comment section what that is and uh, I'm not sure if this is actually the restaurant that I'm trying to go to probably it's a it's a it's a farm look at it isn't it isn't it something wow it's been now uh, about uh, I would say about uh, an hour hike from the beginning of the lake that you saw earlier and it's really really beautiful and much to my surprise my cell phone has uh, signals in this remote uh, area this is really really uh, impressive because to build cell uh, um, towers over here I would imagine it's very difficult and uh, and when I visit the national parks in the United States of America usually I don't get uh, cell phone reception at all and I uh, when I stay in uh, Yosemite National Park I don't really get uh, I am I get disconnected from the world for uh, for for a few days if I'm staying there a couple of nights I, re I really have a hard time communicating with people but here right now I am in the middle of nowhere in Austria in this beautiful uh, in this beautiful uh, place you know that is similar to Yosemite National Park if you are from the United States especially if you are from California you know what I'm talking about so this is actually might be uh, appealing appealing to you if Yosemite National Park uh, uh, suits your uh, your taste definitely then uh, visit uh, Austria you will be uh, impressed and I'm saying that because when you come to Austria or when you come to uh, Switzerland you will have no well, you will have uh, no um, issues with your cell phone as far as the uh, reception and uh, and uh, data and uh, internet and all that kind of stuff as I am speaking right now I am actually posting a story on Instagram on my Instagram and I am able to upload that story to Instagram and it took about uh, 10 seconds to to upload a short uh, story and that is really really impressive when you uh, want to share what you're experiencing if you want to share that with your relative with your friends life as you go then you will have no no issue with that assuming your uh, your uh, cell phone your phone plan is a good plan the one I have the uh, the phone uh, plan that I have is a global is a global plan that works in most uh, in most countries and I get uh, free uh, data reception and free calls to the United States from the United States and to other countries to uh, to about 210 countries in the world and that's the plan that I have because I uh, I travel quite a lot 
and I uh, want to keep my US uh, phone plan I don't want to get a SIM card when I go visit uh, every country because that will not be convenient if you travel frequently it will not be convenient to get a SIM card every time you you visit a country because you will get another phone number and that's what I'm trying to avoid I'm trying to keep the same phone number and works everywhere I go not necessarily in the US but everywhere else and I pay around a hundred and some hundred and five US dollars and my plan is grandfathered I have uh, I got that plan many years ago when it was on a discount so I don't think they can change that uh, plan for me because I signed a contract and that contract says it's gonna stay for good if I'm not mistaken but if you are a new customer and you sign up for that plan you will probably pay extra fifty dollars a month in addition to your uh, monthly um, monthly uh, bill and uh, T-Mobile happens to be global company that uh, has uh, contracts with other uh, uh, cell phone companies in the world and I'm not sure if other companies like Verizon and AT&T have those uh, features so I don't think Verizon plan is good for international travelers I think T-Mobile is the best plan so far Maybe in the future Verizon will change, but for now, um, I think T-Mobile is the best plan for international travelers, for those travelers, for US travelers, I mean. But if you're not from the US, maybe what I'm talking about right now may not, uh, may not apply to you. What a beautiful uh, place I am walking uh, through right now. I'm still trying to get to the uh, to the upper lake I'm not quite sure how long it's gonna take look at uh, what I found right here a bunch of cows and they're blocking my way I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna what I'm supposed to do I should say this is the first time I'm, I am dealing with this situation, so we will see if there is a... I saw people going this way, and, and let's see, let's see how I'm going to handle this situation. I think, I think I'm going to go this way. You see now you're, you're, you're watching this video, you're, you're experiencing what I am experiencing right now. Oh boy. Let's go here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh my. Wow. I took my. You hit your head? Yeah. You see? It's okay. That's okay. It's no, no cut. Something. No cut. No. 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 It's okay. It happens. I, I just had the same here. The same? Really? Yeah, but the cow pushed me. <laughs> oh no, wow. Yeah, because I was bleeding. <laughs> That's why I went around. <laughs> you were bleeding? Yeah, a little bit, but okay. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I just had uh, an accident and you saw it. I fell down very hard and I uh, I'm happy that uh, nothing serious uh, happened I just hit my uh, my head very hard and I scratched my uh, leg a little bit and I got wet the whole uh, lower section of my body is all wet right now oh boy what an experience it has been I think I think this is the small middle lake 
that I was talking about over here but now in the because it's a uh, fall season it's uh, kind of uh, dry but in the spring it's full of uh, water I'm not sure if actually that's the lake that I'm talking about or not maybe it's up ahead but the upper lake I'm not there yet it's, it's gonna be uh, quite a, a hike to get there I'm getting closer to the upper lake over here and I found myself a bench over here to take uh, to take a break because I fell down so hard and I think uh, my knee I'm not sure what happened to my knee it really hurts uh, I, uh, I can barely walk hopefully nothing serious uh, happened to it because it's a it's a big hike uh, to get back to to the bus station and I'm trying to to have lunch up there if you see there is a restaurant over there that I will get there in a, in a few minutes probably will take me probably 10 more minutes and now I uh, I found this uh, viewing platform and I thought why not uh, just start filming I'm not uh, functioning well because of that uh, fall I wasn't supposed to get close to the uh, to the cows and I think one of them uh, tried to hit me trying to protect the, the other small cows and it's uh, I made a mistake I should not have gotten closer to the cows anyway what a beautiful view this is it's really really beautiful so t it took me about uh, two and a half hours to get to get here and most likely it's gonna take me another 15 minutes to get all the way there is uh, a cafeteria over there slash a restaurant I will have lunch there and I will end the video over there I might get an, a better view from there so stick stick around with me we're not done with this uh, adventure alright I found my way over to the upper lake over here what a beautiful place and there are I think there's only one cafeteria over there I hope they have good meals because I really need it after this long hike three hours three hour hike it's really long And uh, you can see a bunch of people are uh, are over there sitting with their dogs. Their dogs are actually swimming in this lake. One thing that I noticed is that uh, they don't allow uh, uh, mountain bikes here. So if you if you're planning to bike, I don't think uh, they allow it over here. It's really really beautiful. Uh, beautiful and the uh, the uh, the mountain that you see over there that is actually um, Dutch Tyen mountain and I took uh, the uh, the cable car the other day to get all the way to the viewing platform over there it's called five fingers you can check out that uh, that video it was a really really beautiful uh, beautiful visit I'm not sure how I'm gonna do my walk and talk videos now because of my knee. It really hurts. You know, at the beginning of the video, you saw the the lady, and she fell down. And uh, I told you that uh, it's really it's always a good idea to uh, to carry first aid uh, supplies. And this is uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, I have everything in my backpack. I have a painkiller. I might uh, use it. I have Tylenol for pain, so I will use it because my knee hurts now. And I might, uh, if it gets worse, I might uh, need to do uh, an X-ray. And also, there's something else. If you are, if you frequently travel a lot, uh, it's it's always a good idea to have an international health insurance that covers you everywhere you go. And that's what I have, uh, you know, if something happened, 
so I I, uh, I have uh, I have that coverage if uh, if uh, if something serious happened to me and look uh, I really cannot stop filming it's because the scenery is really really beautiful and now it's uh, sunny and clear weather it's time now to eat <laughs> 